What's up, X Squad? Welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we will be taking you guys to the Exotic Bird Expo here in San Bernardino, California. We're also going to go ahead and finally introduce you guys to our macaw flock. But before we get started, make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on those notifications to notify you when a new video is uploaded. Let's, Let's get started. What's up, x -Mates? So we are back and we are excited to finally show you guys our bird flock of macaws. So Mark, which bird or which one out of all four are you going to show them first? So I'm going to go ahead and start by introducing you guys to our first macaw. Her name is Pepper. She is a blue and gold macaw. If you guys can hear her, she's excited to meet you guys. There she ah. is. Ah. Ah. So she steps. So this is Pepper. She is a year and two months, or three months to be exact. Her birthday is in June, and she is a Gemini. Huh, mama. So, Mark, um, so Ray, remember when we first ended up getting this bird, this blue and gold? Yeah. What did we think she was gonna be? I first thought she was a boy. And you know, Mark, like we were like, oh, because we have all our animals are boys. But Mark's like, no, I think it's a girl. I was like, no, me and David were like, no, it's a boy. So we had like a little bit. I think it's a girl. All right. A couple of months later, we like DNA, DNA test. DNA test and stuff. And yeah, she was the first female, female. animal that we have. So we call her the mama. That's the mama right there. How old is she once again, Mark? She is a year and two months now. <laughs> Look at her, guys. She is some pressure. She's a blue ah. and gold. She's our first one, so. First female. She and is she your favorite out of all your favorite. birds that you have? So she's the one who I have the closest relationship to. And what do you mean by closest relationship? Can I, you show them? I got her when she was two months. So she actually grew up with me and I had fed her. So out of all the birds I have, I feel oh. like she. She and I are like best friends. She won't do anything to me, as you guys can see. Huh. All like right, that. look at her. Oh, She's excited, right. guys. She's really excited to like be on YouTube. Look at her. She is really feisty, though. She is a feisty um female um blue and gold macaw. And she only the only thing about this macaw, she does listen to Ray because Ray takes care of them, and as well Mark takes care of them. But she only listens to Mark for one odd reason. Like, I'm not the type to give her a kiss in the mouth like that because I'm afraid she's yeah. gonna she's gonna bite me. I'm not. Like Same that. with Ray. Like, we're not. Look at her. Like when it comes to us, like if we, if we get close to her face, she gets all like she gets feisty. Yeah, but when it comes to Mark, so they have. So at the moment, do they speak, Mark? So at the moment, they don't speak. On occasion, they'll say up, but we're getting there. It's a work in progress. Remember, they're still babies. It's barely a year. At least she is. All right. So let's put her on the let's put her on the perch and Ray, go ahead yeah, and start. Uh, go get the other one. Um, but yeah, guys, look at this beautiful blue and gold macaw. The bond that Mark with the bond that Mark has with her, with the bird. Look at it. She loves Mark so much. And it's crazy, one thing about birds that we have been hearing is that, you know, they l have a long lifespan. So, how, how, what's the longest lifespan that they have, Mark? Up to how many years? It depends. It can be anywhere from like 40 to 60 Yeah, it's, it's more than a dog or like a cat. So, we're going to have these birds for a pretty long time. All right, Mark. You can stop it now. Hey, <laughs> bye, Pepper. Put her on. No, put her right here so she could just relax with you. All right, there she goes. All right, who's next, Ray? Who did you bring up? Next is... Next, we have Jalapeno. All right, Jalapeno. Hello, my fresh. There you guys go, Jalapeno. All right, let's talk about Jalapeno, guys. So, Mark, what's the fun facts about Jalapeno? So, Jalapeno is a Catalina macaw. He is a crossbreed of blue and gold and a scarlet. He is a male. And he is a year and two months. His birthday is in June 25th. 
making him a Gemini as well. And did you also have feed him when he was little? And how long, um, let's just, let's tell the ex-mates, how did you get the bird and how long apart is he from Pepper? So he's only three weeks older than Pepper. I actually got him from the same breeder that I got Pepper. So they grew up together. They grew up pretty much during the same time. Like I said, they're only a three month difference. He does tend to have a little bit more of a temper, but. And once again, what is he mixed so with? He's, cause you said he's a hybrid, correct? He is a hybrid. So he's, he's mixed a cross breed between a blue and gold and a scarlet macaw. Ooh, so the scarlet macaw makes him the little feistier, huh? Yes. So he, his dad was, is a scarlet and his mom is a blue and gold which looks just like pepper over there. But just look at the beautiful orange chest. It's like an orange red chest, right? Yes. Look at him. Here As we well, is. guys, he is like Mark said, he's a feisty. And with this one, he's only all about Mark. Like I mentioned, Ray takes care of the birds as well. But very, um, they're like, you could touch them, but will you be Actually, able to- the girls are the feistiest one. Like For you? One, yeah. Like, okay. For this one, I could grab and eat, clean it. Not with that one. I was like, wait, go on, go on. So he is a little more tame with me personally, me speaking. When I try to feed him or I try to grab him, he hates me. I don't know why. We and him have a love and hate relationship. He doesn't let me touch his girlfriend in the back. Like if you guys notice, like he knows I'm talking about him. He has something, he has like a vendetta against me. But um, Mark, you also hand fed, you also hand fed him, correct? So I did also hand fed him. Um, they're no longer on formula. They actually just stopped, stopped about a month ago. Let's go. And he's very, very possessive over Pepper. I think it's because they grew up together. together. So I definitely feel that they... And does he know at least a little trick? Eventually mate. No, they don't know any tricks, but usually he does like to swing like this when he's on trees. Yeah, it's really weird. That's what he loves to do, guys. Look at him. As well, look at those feathers. The Rock. amazing color that he has. Rock. But like Mark said, um, hopefully he mates with Pepper over here in the back with Ray. And if they do mate, Mark, what do they come? What kind of birds will come out? They will be Cataplu, which is uh, F two, I believe. So the orange on the the orange on jalapeno won't be on the Cataplus, correct? It'll be more of a gold, like and the, pepper. The 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 blue uh, will be more green. All right, all right, all right. Well, well, there you guys have it. That is jalapeno and pepper. We are gonna show you guys the next one. If you guys notice, like Mark said, um, they're already a couple, man. It's crazy because they grew up together and they can never be apart. Just let me give you guys another look at their chest. How beautiful the color is. Say hey, say hi, mamas. something's going on how oh, baby you love your birds i do hello my fresh all right so who's next mark who's coming who's coming so who is it next we have our third macaw which is chili the feistiest of them all usually and, she doesn't like for you to touch her and ray why do you why do you call her the feistiest of them all trust me she's like I'm just a scarlet. A lot of people used to tell us, I'm gonna scarlet, I'm gonna scarlet. Like, we'll tell them, oh, I'm gonna scarlet. Okay. But they'll be like, oh, you'll regret it. They're spicy, they're this, they're loud. Yeah, they're actually pretty loud. They're pretty loud. All right, guys. So, Mark, let the X-Mates know what's some fun facts about Chili. How old is she? Where she come from? How she got her? Um, just let the X-Mates know so all those. Chili is uh, definitely from a different breeder. I got her shipped to me from Chicago, Illinois, and she was six months when I actually got her. Um, I still was able to hand feed her, so I did uh, definitely establish a different bond than I did with the other two, since the other two I got them at a much younger age. However, she still does okay with me. Like I said, she's really not much of a, of a toucher, she just rather you look at her from a distance. 
she is really oh, sensitive wow. you could tell she doesn't like being really like rough or like anybody being rough on her she is sweet though she's really really sweet and mark for anybody that's a bird and wants to buy a bird online that's off of their like state or country do you recommend it i definitely do recommend it just make sure that you guys are actually like digging into whoever, whoever the breeder is make sure that they have like a history a track history of uh sales and that you are doing your research before you just buy sometimes you can come across fraud however um a good website you can guys check out which is where i bought all my birds is birdsbreeders.com that's birdsbreeders.com and everybody there for the most part seems to have a track history of sales so i think um this Calling the number, getting some pictures, video sent to you, uh, should do the trick. So, Faray, when we first got the Scarlet Macaw, do you want to let them know how she came and how... She came on a crate, and she didn't really have all the feathers. We were, like, worried because her colors were, like, not as bright, you know? Because the Scarlet Macaw, guys, it's a bright, bright yeah, red. Yeah, it was bright. And the red, how was it, Ray? It, it was, like, dim. It was, like, an orange, dim red. So that's because she was in Chicago and it was snowing, so they had her inside. So she didn't get yeah, no sunlight. She didn't get no sunlight, so she got here, we put her outside, and I mean, she loved it. She and Mark, how much was, um, letting the ex beats know, how much was your Scarlet, your Blue and Gold, and your Catalina Macaw? So the Scarlet was 6000 The Blue and Gold Pepper is 6000 and Jalapeno, he was 6500 so they're more expensive with their babies, correct? Or is it just when they're like older, are they cheaper? Usually, if you get them at a younger age, they will be um, a little bit more expensive, only because you're getting them as a younger um, bird. But that can all vary. And once again, what's the zodiac sign for Chile? Chile is also a Gemini. Oh, we have how many Geminis we got in this house? Three. Her birthday is May 31st. Is also about a year and two months. And what are your plans with Chili? Are you trying to have her mate? So my plan for all of my macaws is to actually breed them in the future. Um, hopefully, with the right loving care, they end up breeding. And can you also let the ex mates know? Because you know we're always all about animals, and we've been looking at them. Um, we noticed that <laughs> our blue and gold. <laughs> yeah, she's feisty. We notice um, through all the time that we take care of them that she's close to the male over here, Mr. Jalapeno. So do you think they're in a polyamorous relationship? So it's funny because I do think that they're in a throuple. It seems like when since she is a female and the only male that was brought around her growing up was Jalapeno. Look at him. She started to get really attached to him. But yet again. But yet the again, it was Pepper's man first. So I feel like she has to kind of share. share and out of all of them, they tend to have much of a closer relationship and that's only because they've been together um, for the longest. But how neat that would be if they ended up mating with Jalapeno. If she mates with Jalapeno, what would come out? They would be having another hybrid, which would be a uh, Camelot. Ooh, Camelot. Which they, it will end up looking more... Um, more yellow, orange. And that was your goal, right? You wanted something yellow, bright yellow, and bright gold? Yes, yeah, so I'll show you guys the next macaw, because that's similar to what a Camelot will look like. All right, well, Chili, there you go. There you guys have it, that's Chili. That's the Scarlet Macaw. So uh, go put her up with her love boys. Look, look at her. She does fight for the lover over there, though. All right, Mark, so what's the next one that you're showing then? Finally, we have our last macaw, which is Habanero. The baby. He is the baby. All right, so ex mates, Mark, to let you know a little bit more about Habanero. So what's the fun facts about him, Mark? So Habanero is still a baby. He is seven months old. 
His Celebrate. birthday is in December 22nd. Oh, what? Capricorn. This is an earth sign like like Ray over here, correct? Mm -hmm. So, um, Habanero is an F3, I believe, which is a Tropicana Macomb. He is a crossbreed between a Harlequin and a Scarlet. So, he is also... As you guys can see, he has, for being the baby, he has the biggest feet out of all three and the biggest head, and that's because he gets that from the green wing in him, which was his grandfather. His tail's growing. So how many birds does he mix with? He has a full of blue and gold, a great wing, a green wing, a scarlet, and a harling. So wow. Four. So guys, in order to create this Tropicana Macaw, you need four birds, well, four different types. And Mark, let the ex mates know what's so special about our Avonero. So Avonero is our disabled child. He wow. actually has, um, if you guys uh, come closely, he has um, only three toes. And how many so are they supposed to have? They should be having four. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he is missing right there, guys. There it is. You see the toes? That one, and where else, Ray Point? This one. And let's show you guys the, on the actual macaws, so you guys can see how many toes they have. Show me your toe. Show me your toe. Show me your toe. Oh, we'll show jalapenos. We have one, two, and right then there. he's missing, basically, ah. he's missing the thumb. He's missing the thumb. Yeah. So It does not affect him when it comes to got in the hang of it yeah he's actually being so, for being disabled he he got he got used to everything as well mark where did you get um habanero so he, def he comes from a breeder as well all from uh chicago illinois he's from a different breeder than i got him from uh chile but he is also from chicago all right all right and how much was habanero so he was a thousand Okay. And the reason why he was actually on a sell price due to him not having his toes fully, fully there. So. Well, like we said, guys, it, that does not affect him in any type of way. But at the same time, we fell in love because he's just so unique and. He's a big baby. Yeah, he's really is a big baby. Like Ray said, like he's he wants he's the first one that wants to go in and the first one to want to come out when it's the morning time. Look at the bond they still have. And he is a male as well. So hopefully he bonds with Chili over there so they can create some rare birds, which would be a Capri macaw. Ooh. Yeah, the more you the more you um the more you mix these birds with different breeds, the prettier the color is. Because the blue and gold macaw that's an original, you could say like an like the scarlet, she's an original, like the macaw. Because they didn't get breeded with anything, correct? Mark their solid macaws. Yes, the females are full full breed. They're full breed solid macaws. And the boys are both hybrids, hybrid. meaning they got mixed with different types of macaw in order to create that macaw. And let me show you guys one more thing what Mark and Ray did for them. Because like we did mention, Mark, are your birds are your birds or having a bird <laughs> is having a bird expensive? Definitely. Very. All right, so how much was this perch that you have them on? Because a lot of people, you need to have your birds on a perch for them to perch outside. Yeah. So how much was this perch mark that you got for them? So this was a thousand dollars. And just keep in mind, it's two and one. Because- They had to, they had to uh, put them together to make it bigger. And shout out to Richard. This was Richard, a guy that does, that specifies perfect of, um, from Perfect Perches and he creates purchase at your desire so he created mark told him can you put both of them together and put a make a big one and were you content mark i was content all right however after having four birds i said we need something bigger and that's when we finally decided to design Move the <laughs> be careful with the lights they don't bite the lights but all right let's go let's show them so me and ray decided to build this perch out of 
the pomegranate tree that we have here at our house. As you guys can see, they have a few toys there, which we tend to put more toys once uh, they So Ray and Mark designed the tree, like he mentioned, sorry. Like he mentioned, it was just, if you notice, it's, it's a tree, it's a pomegranate tree that we, we had when we moved into this house. And we're thinking about getting rid of the pomegranate because we really didn't like the tree. But then we're like, wait, why not create something? Yeah. And since Ray, on over here, used to work in construction and knows how to use all those tools and stuff, um, Mark was like, let's start designing something for them. So they brought different ribbon wood. You guys can see they connect the ribbon wood, which is pretty expensive, correct, Mark? Yeah. It can be if you get a lot. And what are your, are you still trying to expand this um, playground yeah. for them that you have for them, you can, in other words, say? Yes, we're trying to actually make it bigger. As you guys can see, we already um, installed two woods down to the ground and extended it both to the right and to the left of the tree. As well, I can see you guys put... We added bowls so yes. we could like seat them. And we're planning on extending it a little bit more to the right and a little bit more to the left. So that way they have more room to... And of course, and of, I mean, of course they also have some shade, which um, Mark and they also designed to put for them. So this is something that Mark and Ray created for the birds. So, you know, they're just not stuck in a cage all day because, Mark, you don't like your birds in a cage all day, correct? I don't. The birds tend to spend the whole day out here as long as the sun is up. And what, what's their schedule like? So normally they're up by seven o'clock when the sun comes up. They tend to have their breakfast in their cage and then they come out and spend the whole day up here where we sometimes turn on the mist. And then, now now a lot of questions, I bet all these people have been asking all the ex-mates, are you planning, are we planning on getting more macaws? And if so, what kind of macaws would you get and how many? We have now. Ray, what about you? Is would you want another one? Oh, not right now. Not right now. So, what you were saying, Mark? So, at the moment, we are not doing any more. Not unless we buy a bigger house, bigger land to have them. Because my goal would be to build an outdoor. Avery for them, or I don't long, I no longer have to clip the wings, and they can have them and be out. Yeah, you do get that a lot, and tell them why they don't fly away, and why for the the reason of clipping out their wings. So the reason why we clip their wings is because of the same fact that they are not in their cage the majority of the day. The majority of the day, they actually spend it out here. And uh, we have had a previous incident where we didn't get their wings and they flew and it took us a whole day to actually retrieve them. So we don't want to be having any more accidents and these birds are not cheap to just let them be out. I think it's a good idea to uh, not clip their wings if you have the time to take them for free flying and have that dedication to do with them. Other than that, if you don't, I think clipping is the best way to go. Like I said, they end up enjoying their day out here outside of the cages. Sometimes they glide down to the grass, they walk around the grass, they come down to the crates, climb around the crates. So they definitely have an active life. Being out and of the cages. one more last question for the ex meets What do you feed your macaws? What are they on? What do you feed them? Seeds, pallets? Do you, what kind of? What's their like? Basically, their breakfast, so, lunch, and dinner. They eat a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables. They also eat um, on occasion. They'll eat uh, pallets or they will eat seeds. 
However, I tend to feed the majority of the time fruits and vegetables because that is the best way to go um, with their diet. So on occasion, they do get seeds and they do get um, pellets, but I try really not to give them that. And last and, last and not least, for all anybody thinking of getting a bird, do you recommend it? And if you don't recommend it for what reason, you will not recommend it. Well, if you have a busy schedule like us, however, it works for us because we are always home. But if you have a busy schedule, I definitely don't recommend you getting a car. But if you have the time and will to do so, I definitely recommend it because it is definitely a different experience owning an exotic car like this. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun amount of love and affection when they actually come to give you. And as you guys can see, right now they're being pretty quiet, but that is definitely another thing to keep in mind. Something I can keep in mind when I first bought the first, second, and third macaw. It, they are extremely loud at some point of the day, and they can disrupt a lot of your neighbors if you have close neighbors. So that is definitely something want to reconsider only because it is something that you can't control and you can hear them um, basically a block away. So you definitely want to make sure that if you're going to own as many as we do, that you have a land where you can actually have them and they will not disrupt any neighbors. And are you guys ready to go to the bird expo and let's see what we find? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Go, let's uh, let's go, go X-Mates. Let's see what we find. We might get them toys, food, but let's go, X-Mates. Oh, look at the chickens over there. They have chickens. They have bird toys, bird perches. There is at least like a thousand people in this expo today in San Bernardino. So we're trying to find food for our birds as well. We're trying to see if we can get them some toys, some nuts, you know. We're trying to see if they have any macaws here that we can see to show you guys the different breeds that they have. So, these are all the bird perches. The wood's nice. They're done nice. Mark, are you thinking of getting the chicken now? Do you want a chicken, right? Since he wants a duck. Because there's, a, there's a lot of resources here at the um, Exotic Bird Expo in San Bernardino. Um, there's a lot of small birds though, which I uh, mean, it's not really our type of bird. We are trying to see if they have any macaws. At the moment, we haven't found any macaws, so we're gonna have to keep looking on the hunt and see if we find any macaws. Bird Expo. Yeah, so, and this is for smaller birds. And these are for bigger birds. Are you gonna get them? Are you gonna get them something? Thank you. So, Michael's for the bigger toys, guys. Guys, our macaws they will treat them so quickly that uh, this literally will be a waste of money. So we're trying to get the bigger toys. Our macaws usually would have required this type of toy because if we give them this type of toy, like I said, it's, it will last them literally not even a day. So we're trying to find a good toy, a good price because bird toys are expensive. 
Yeah, this is all for small, small birds. They have um, player birds, birds, and they get 58. This type of, is it, is it ribbon wood? Yeah. yeah. So this is ribbon wood, and it all depends on the size. This is nice. This will be nice. Actually, I like this, guys. I don't know, but I like it. At the bird store. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can, or you can also make it. I mean, I like it. They have other toys. For an odd reason, birds like color. That's why if you notice, they're color coordinated because birds attract, like color attracts birds, like their eyesight and stuff, so. Jacoby Pigeon, three hundred dollars. The top one, top. Look at it. Crazy. And they seem to have more toys here. The color of the toys very strong. If you guys notice. Vibrant. Yeah, it's very. It's a very vibrant color. If you guys look at the toys. And that's because of the coloring. But. The coloring can be a little attention they would have gotten because there's no more calls and that's what we're looking for I'm a call no more birds babe where's the macaws at oh right found the macaws all right we're just gonna go around the area get everything where? Alright, Mark saw some two cans. Let's see, let's see. What are they? Baby two cans? Yeah. These are baby two cans. You want one? Those are hungry. Alright, we see the macaws. I see macaws. We found two, but there's more in, uh, around here. But these are the first two that we're gonna show you guys. Look how beautiful it is. Is that a Harley Quinn? Yeah. That's what uh, one of the narrow that looks like. And we have a Scarlet, so you guys know we have a Scarlet. Basically, when they made, they create Habanero. Yeah, so when they made, they create Habanero, the one we have, so you guys know. The Tropic Town. Yeah. And that's the girl in the how beautiful they are. Hello. You know Mark being the bird whisper over here. We we should get one of those. The Harley Quinn, they look like um, jalapeno. But the orange in the chest is lighter, if you notice. It's a little lighter. Show you guys from the front. 
You guys notice this color is more light orange. It's a Harley Quinn male and a Sardinian. Well, it's 4,500 for both of them. Yeah. But do you, think like, do you guys think they're this um, cheap because they're already adults? Yeah. So when they're adults, it's more harder to train them into, right? It's a little harder. So, I mean... Yeah, they're used to their owner from birth. Whoever hands feeds them, they tend to be more... So you might think you might get an idea, but at the same time, the training, the whole process of, you know, it's gonna be intense. I mean, they're amazing birds. They're beautiful. Are you thinking of getting it? I would so do it. But how big do they go? Huge. the one to ride. Oh yeah, I don't know about having, I don't need no ostrich right now. Don't change them. I mean, they're only in that cage. Okay. I believe them right there. You want to duck? Yeah. I don't think we should have ducks right now because of our dogs. Yeah, they are pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. The little dogs are... How much are they? Yeah. Ten dollars each. So we got here. Yeah, our cats cannot. <laughs> yeah, we have a Bengal cat, and I don't think you have to go around them, dog. So that's till we get our whole hacienda, because, like we said. All right, let's move along, let's go. Yeah, it kind of smells like... Yeah, it smells like... I don't know, with our birds, we wash them, we shower them on a daily so they don't have that bird smell. Yeah, that's what I was telling them, like we own our ranch, once we have like an haciendo, like a big old ranch, then we'll, of course we'll get a ostrich. It's not bad, it's 1,500 for an ostrich. I could just see Ray riding it. <laughs> So they have um, bird food, more bird food. All right, let's go to the bird area.
And there you guys have it, X-Mates. Thanks for making it this far, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video of our bird macaws. And thanks for coming along with us to our little adventure to the bird, Exotic Bird Expo. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give this video a big old thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't done so. And turn on your notifications to notify you when a new video is uploaded. Till Til next time, X-Mates.